Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKTAI.com. We're here at NVIDIA's booth at CES 2014, checking out the Tegra K1 193 core super chip. And Doug's gonna tell us all about it. Great, so what we're looking at is a, a seven inch uh, reference tablet uh, that we're using to, to uh, showcase the 32 bit um, super chip with the 192 cores. The, uh, the key, the key uh, technology here is, is the Kepler GPU, the 192 core Kepler GPU, bringing Kepler to mobile for the first time. So those of you that are familiar with NVIDIA know that Kepler runs you know, the most energy efficient supercomputers in the world, it does, runs the bulk, the bulk of the workstations in the world, and it does the best gaming in our GeForce products. Now it's in mobile. What we're seeing here is our FaceWorks demo, and this was uh, what we showed at GTC in March running on GTX Titan, and now it's in a 7-inch tablet. This is not a video, this is fully, full, fully live, uh, being rendered on the fly. Uh, you see with uh, subsurface scattering underneath the skin to give a, give a realistic viewpoint view. Let's zoom in a little bit and kind of see the ray tracing in his eyes. Let's move over here just a little bit to the side. Look at how the, the light reacts. I can change the light source. As I change the light source, it reacts, uh, oops, sorry, it, uh, it changes appropriately. Notice that if I move the, the light from behind him, I get shadows from all the places you'd expect to get shadows. I get light through through his ear. Um, again, just exactly as, as you'd expect. If you kind of look at what's, what the state of the art is in, today, this is what the rest of the industry is showing. Actually, this is what the top end of the industry is showing here on the left. Uh, and this is what uh, Kepler K1, uh, sorry, Tegra K1 is capable of. Let's zoom in even farther just to see. It doesn't get any more realistic than that anywhere. And again, that's live, a live render on a mobile chip and a 7 inch tablet. So really excited about what this does for the industry uh, in terms of the API support. Uh, covers, uh, it supports DX11, OpenGL 4.4, as I said earlier. So basically we created this demo to show off the physics capabilities of Tegra K1. And here we are showing how an object shatters based on how things hit it. Like, like I fire a bullet at it. You know, now the bullet hit it at the top and you can see it broke into many pieces. And now I can rotate through in a matrix-like effect and look at all the fracture of the device. And you can see the refraction on the glass and it's reflecting back, it's reflecting across the surfaces all in real time. And I let the bullet pass through and things fall in place. And now if I reset it again and now if I fire it from a different angle, you'll see that. Hitting. Sorry? Okay, it's it's paused. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just trying to get to a good angle. Okay. okay. So now you can see how it breaks in different ways. Use a different object that has different characteristics and then if I do it again. Now it all you know, shatters in much bigger pieces. So it's all being done in real time based on the physics of the objects and how things impact and shatter the pieces. So uh, it's a pretty cool demonstration of how this is being used in real games, like especially in explosions and like games like Call of Duty. You know, all the physics uh, characteristics are used in those explosions to make them more realistic. Uh, Tessellation is an advanced graphics technique that we've been working on on our traditional PC graphics business for quite a number of years now. Essentially, we know how many triangles the developer intended to put in, but then we can also figure out places to expand that number of triangles immensely. And that's what gives you the, the kind of definition in the water that you would normally never be able to get. Water's traditionally been one of the harder graphics problems to solve. As you fly close, you, you really get a sense of all the shimmering, and there's it's all being computed in real time. A scene like that was impossible three years ago, and now we can do it in mobile. Right now, we're checking out gaming performance on the Tegra K1 uh, reference tablet from NVIDIA. This is trying to. Rendering this face. Uh, this is 